10 powerful color tools in DaVinci Resolve. Stop that. People often use circular shape like this and invert it. Use curve shape instead, it will be more light motivated. So create a shape based on your light in the scene. Then bring down the gamma and soft your shape using the softness settings. Open tracker window and hit track forward and reverse. This is a much better way and you can create a bunch of different shapes in one frame. And here's before and after. Color Warper Select color warper. You can use an old warper, but the new one is way better. Now select the part in the frame that you want to adjust, for instance these trees, and then drag it to the color you want. Now select sky and drag it closer to the dark blue or cyan. Let's add some contrast to the image. And here we go, so easy and fun to use. Cinematic Saturation On the empty node, right click, color space and choose HSV. Now we moved from RGB to HSV color space. Right click again, look up for channels and turn off channel 1 and channel 3. Now we have a dedicated channel for saturation and you can use curve to adjust your saturation. Just add some points to add or subtract saturation. You can also use gain and gamma wheels to adjust your saturation level. Depth map. Here we have this nice clip, but the background grabs too much attention. It's just too bright. Usually we would use a magic mask to isolate our subject, but in this case it's not gonna work well. So let's apply depth map, go to effects browser and type depth map. Drag it onto your node, click on invert because we want to select our background. Open map adjustment, enable map levels for more precise selection, drop near limit value. Now open map finesse, click on post processing and increase blur amount to soften the edges. Now you can turn off the preview and drop your offset value to desired level. Face refinement. Open Effects Browser, type Face Refinement and drag it onto your node. Click on Detect Faces in the frame, hover your playhead to the first frame and hit Track Forward. After it's done, turn off the overlay. Go down to Skin Texture and increase Amount. Adjust Contrast and Mid-Tone if needed. You can add some sharpness and brightness to her eyes if you want. And also add some saturation or hue to the blush. And here's before and after. Glow. Open Effects Browser, apply Glow to your node, increase Gain in Gamma and some color if needed. You can add a secondary glow as well. If you want to add some magic, that's the right tool. And here's before and after. Isolate color. Go to RGB mixer and turn on monochrome. Right click on your node, add node, add layer node. Select qualifier and drag the color you want to isolate. Shift H to highlight and add some denoise value. A little bit of blur and black value if needed. Shift H to disable the highlight and that's it. Film tone. Here's the clip shot on Sony with S-Log3. Open effects browser and apply color space transform to your node. Choose color space, in my case it's S-Log gamut, S-Log3 and choose output color space to Rec 709 and output gamma to Cineon film log. Add one more node, open LUTs window, go to Film Looks and drag codec 2383D60 LUT on your second node. And here we go. Qualifier. Select qualifier, click on your subject face, 
Shift H to enable the highlights tool, increase blue radius to 14 and denoise to around 32. Play around with the sliders for better skin tone selection and then adjust your skin color in gamma. And that's it. Split tone. Open effects browser, type split tone and drag it onto your node. Change your working timeline color space. In my case it is DaVinci White Gamut Intermediate. Adjust strength and you already have a great result. Adjust pivot and hue angle if needed. You can change mode to strong as well. And here we go. Don't forget to like, subscribe and drop a comment if you like the content and visit my store to download some cool plugins and free stuff for DaVinci Resolve. Thanks for watching.